Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a lucky draw app using MIT App Inventor. So for this, we are going to use lists in MIT App Inventor. So you will learn about using list and also we are going to learn how to use random numbers in MIT App Inventor. So first, let me show you how this app works. First, you need to add some names or items to the lucky draw app. Now you can see that I added 10 persons like this you can see I have added person 1 person 2 like this and then using this you can click on pick random and it will pick a random person and it will show the winner so let me click on pick random. Now you can see that the person 7 is the winner because it is picking a random person a random item from the list view and you can see it shows winner and congrats so this can be used to give prizes if you are new to my channel my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy so if you want to create fantastic mobile apps start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon so first we are going to put a label as a title here so let me just bring in a label and let's change the text of this to be lucky draw app now i'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size to be 25 like this and i'm going to put this to be at the middle of screen when so here you can see align horizontal let me put it to be center like this now you can see that the title came to the center of the screen one next we are going to bring in an horizontal arrangement so here you can see horizontal arrangement and let's put the width of this to be fill parent inside this we are going to bring in a label and then a text box so here you can see the text box like this next i'm going to align this to the center so click on this horizontal arrangement one and change both align horizontal and align vertical both should be centered like you can see here now you can see that it came to the center of the horizontal arrangement next i'm going to change the text of this label to be name now let me increase the font size of this to be 18 and i'm going to make the font to be bold next here in this text box the hint is going to be type here now you can see that i have put a hint and also i changed the label next we we need to put some gap between this and the title so for that we are going to use a label like this let me erase all the text from this and I'm going to put the height of this to be 5% so that there will be some spacing between this title and then the name here they need to enter the name to add it to the list view. Next we are going to bring in a button and here let's change the text of this to be add. Now I'm going to make the font to be bold and let's change the background color of this to be orange like this. Let me duplicate this button. And now the text is going to be pick random item. Now again I am going to duplicate this button Control C and Control V. And let's change the text of this to be reset. Now you can see that we have put all the three buttons add. So that they can add the item. And then this is to find who the winner is by picking a random icon. And the random item. And then this reset button is to reset and clear all the list. Next we are going to bring in a list view to show the items. So let me change the background color of this to be white and I'm going to put the text color to be black like this. Let's put the width of this to be fill parent so that it occupies the whole width like you can see here. Next we after the click on the pick random item we need to show the winner. So for that we are going to bring in a vertical arrangement and let me put the width of this to be fill parent. And now let's go to the user interface and let's bring it in a label. And we are going to put this to be at the middle again. So let's go to vertical arrangement 1 and change align horizontal to be center like this. Next let's change the text of this to be winner. I am going to put the font size for this to be 25 like this. And if you want you can make it bold and I am going to change the text color of this to be blue like this. Now you can see that the winner is highlighted. Next we are going to bring in a label. And in this label, we are going to put the name of the winner, the random item. So let me just put name. In the block section, we will find the correct name by picking a random item and we will show it in this label. So I'll make it bold and I'm going to put the font size of this to be 80 like this so that it will be a little more bigger. Next, we are going to put a trophy image here. So let me just bring in the image component and now I'm going to upload the file. So let's go to picture and let me upload the 
trophy find. Now you can see that the image is uploaded. I'm going to give a link in the description from which you can download this image. Now let me change the height of this to be 25% and then the width of this to be 35%. Now you can see that it is at the right size. Next we are going to put a border around this or vertical arrangement so for the border again i have given a link in the description from which you can download an image and then now let's upload that image here now you can see that the image is uploaded and you can see the nice border around this winner and then the name and also the cup next what we are going to do is we need to put some gap again between the, these buttons and then the winner so for that let's bring in a label here like this and let me erase all the text from this label and I'm going to change the width of this label I mean the height of this label to be 10% like this next if you want you can make you can make sure that the scrollable property is enabled here so that you you would be able to scroll like you can see here if this is not fitting the screen next click on this vertical arrangement one and in the properties you need to uncheck this visible box so that it will not be visible so this should be visible only when the user click on clicks on the pick random item button and only when the user click clicks on this button the winner will be evaluated by this app by picking a random item and then the winner will be shown here so make sure you uncheck this box next we are going to rename some of these components so that we will not be confused in the block section so for that first let me just make this visible and then here you can see i'm going to rename this to be winner name now you can see that it is renamed here next what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename the vertical arrangement to be winner like this and i'm going to rename all of these components now you can see that i have renamed all of this you can see that i have renamed the text box to be named text box and then this button to be add button the random button and then reset button and then here you can see I have renamed this to be winner and the same way for the label now let me select this vertical arrangement and let me again make this invisible like this now let's go to the block section so first we are going to create two variables so the first variable is items list now we are going to put here create empty list like this and then we are going to create another variable called winner next when this add button is clicked it needs to add the name to the list so whatever they enter in this text box which is name text box so let's go to lists and here you can see add items to list this block and then the list is going to be the items list where we are going to store all the items and then the item which we need to add is going to be text box one dot text i mean the name text box dot text so let's bring in this block like this so whatever they type here the name when, and then after they click on add it will be added to the list after we add it to the list we need to show it in this list view one so that it will be visible for them so let's here you can see list view one and i'm going to put set list view one dot elements to so the elements is going to be the items list so that it will be visible next when the second button which is the random button i mean the here you can see pick random item button is clicked we need to select the winner and we need to show it in the winner name label so for that let, here in the block section what we are going to do is here you can see random button so when the random button one dot click here we are going to set the winner to be here you can see set global winner to and then we are going to pick a random item from the items list so for that let's go to lists and here you can see pick a random item let's bring in this block and the list the list is going to be the items list so let me just duplicate this and put it here so that it will pick a random item and it will store it in this variable the global winner variable and then after it stores it we we need to show it in the winner name label so for that here you can see set winner name dot text to let me just we are going to bring in this get global winner so that the winner will be visible in the winner name variable like you can see here next what we are going to do is we need to show you can see that this vertical arrangement the winner vertical arrangement is not visible so whenever they click on this button it needs to be visible so that they can see the winner's name so for that let's go to winner the vertical arrangement and here you can see set winner one dot visible to and here we are going to put true 
like this so that it will be visible so we will make this winner to be visible to be true and then we are going to hide the list view so here you can see list view one if you scroll down a little bit here you can see list view one dot visible two. here let me just duplicate this and i'm going to change this to be false so that the list view will not be visible and only the winner will be visible next when the user clicks on the reset button we need to clear all the items in the list so for that here you can see reset button when reset button dot click here what we are going to do is let's again bring in set items list to and then we are going to create an empty list so that everything in the list will be cleared the same way what we are going to do is we are going to set the list view one dot elements to the global items list so that everything will be cleared from the list view one also next what we are going to do is here you can see we have made this visible to be true and then we will make the list view to be visible to be false so we are going to again here you can see set winner dot visible to false and then let me just duplicate this and then i'm going to change this to be true so that the list view will be visible again so here you can see the app i'm going to add the items to this list now you can see that i have added five person like you can see person one person two person three four and five now i'm going to click on pick random item so that it will pick a random person and show it as the winner now you can see that the winner is person three you can see the border and it also shows the trophy like this now when i click on reset you can see that everything is cleared and now again 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 i can start adding new items and it is cleared next you need to add this confetti effect like this so that it will be much good so i'm adding this effect using a gif image and animated gif so if you want to insert gif animated gifs in mit app inventor and play it watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor here to create more mobile apps like this one